Our story begins outside of SpongeBob's house, where we see him outside with Gary enjoying a nice summer's day. Ah, the weather sure is lovely today, isn't it, Gary? There's not a cloud in the sky. Well, we're just gonna sit here and just enjoy the rest of our day today. Make sure you don't get in trouble while we're out here, okay? Because I hate to give you a timeout or a punishment or anything. Uh, aren't these flowers beautiful? So glad I'm out here watering them, because today was my perfect day to be out here watering. Uh, I see SpongeBob over there with this annoying snail. He doesn't come anywhere near my garden, because I need to go inside to get some more soil. I'm gonna let him know for Gary to come over near my garden. Hello there, SpongeBob. I need to talk to you for a few minutes. What do you want, Squidward? Can you see I'm trying to ex enjoy myself out here? Well, don't get all mad at me. I, this is serious. What do you want? Well, um, I have a flower garden, right? And I'm watering my flowers right now. So I want you to make sure your snail doesn't come anywhere near my flowers while I'm going inside to get my soil, alright? Wait, what? I need to go get some more soil. Oh, okay, so... What do you want me to do? I, I want you to make sure your snail doesn't come anywhere near my flowers, okay? Alright, Squirt, I'm gonna make sure Gary does not come near your flowers. Good. Alright, I better must be going get in my soil now. Make sure you don't let him come near my flowers! Now that your squirt just wasted half of my second just telling me about his flowers and whatnot. Well, you know, I'm not going to care that much. Oh, Gary, it's time for us to take our little, take our little naps now, okay? I'm going to go take a nap and you just sit there and mind your own business, alright? Alright, make sure you don't misbehave yourself, okay? Alright, good night, Gary. Oh, boy, I finally got my soul. Now it's time for me to finish up. Oh, my God! I thought I told that yellow brat to make sure his snail doesn't come near my flowers! Now he's gonna get up! SpongeBob, I need to talk to you! Wake up from your slumber immediately! Oh my goodness, what's up with all that screaming? I'm trying to take a nap! SpongeBob, get over here right now! My goodness, Squidward, what the heck do you want? Get on over here and see what's going on! Oh my goodness, Gary, what are you doing to Squidward's flower garden? I thought I told you to make sure your snail does not come anywhere near my garden. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. How did you forget? I just told you like a few minutes ago. I'm so sorry, Squidward. Gary, this type of behavior is totally unacceptable, okay? Now I want you to go over there and apologize to Squidward for you eating his flower garden. What do you mean? No, you're not going to apologize. You better apologize or I'm going to have to get, put you in timeout. Good. Now go over there and apologize to Squidward right now. Alright, Gary, at least you apologize. But thanks a lot. Now I have to go back to the bar and get some more flowers, which is going to be another $20 out of my wallet. <sighs> it's totally unacceptable, SpongeBob. Get your pink snail out of here right now. Alright, Gary, I'm glad that you apologize to Squidward. But please do me a huge favor. Do not get in any more troubles today, alright? Because I really don't want to put, I don't really don't want to put you in timeout or anything. Because that would be kind of harsh. Anyways, since we're all even, why don't we just go to Joey's and Joe's and hang out? Okay, let's go ahead and go there then. So all SpongeBob and Gary went to Joey's Fish Fields to have a nice day to themselves. Well, here we are, Gary, at Joey's Fish Fields. Now we can enjoy the rest of our days to ourselves. Hey, look, Gary, we're not the only one here at Joey's Fish Fields. I think we see Sandy up there with a the video camera. Maybe we should go over there and ask her what she's doing. Come on, Gary. It's not. It won't hurt. It won't hurt to talk to Sandy for for once in a while. Oh, hey there, SpongeBob and Gary. I didn't see you guys back there. Oh, hello there, Sandy. Um, we were just out here in Jellyfish Fields, just about to enjoy ourselves a lovely day until we spotted you with a video camera. In fact, why are you out here with a video camera anyway? Well, that's a very good question. Well, today is the Jellyfish migration, and um, I'm actually videotaping it. Wow, that's amazing. Are you turning to a movie? Indeed, I am. It's gonna be in, in, also gonna be aired in theaters. Oh, Sandy, that sounds amazing. Exactly, it is amazing. Well, we're gonna just sit here and watch you make the movie then. Okay then, but make sure your snail doesn't get in the way in some of it. Okay, you hear that, Gary? Make sure you don't get in the way while Sandy's recording her movie, okay? Well, he says he said he agrees. Okay, if you boys stay here and just watch me make the film, I won't have any problems. Okay, we'll just watch you make the movie then. Ah, uh, isn't this fun, Gary, watching Sandy making her own movie? Um, okay, Gary, so we can just continue sitting here watching you make the movie then. Ah, oh, dang it! What's the matter, Sandy? I'm all out of film for my camera. Oh, snap. Then what are we gonna do now? I have to go back to my car and get some more. Why don't you just sit here and watch my video camera spawn drop? Make sure nothing happens to it, okay? Oh, don't worry about- don't worry about me, Sandy. I'll make sure your video camera is- is safe- is perfectly safe. Alright, Gary, me and you are gonna watch Sandy's video camera while she goes back to her car and get some more film, okay? Alright, thanks, guys. I'll be back in a few seconds. 
Well, Gary, looks like I have to do another favor. Watching Sandy's video camera. Isn't this fun? Um, why are you not responding to me, Gary? Um, am I bothering you? Um, Gary, what do you think you're doing? Why are you standing near the video camera? Gary, I swear, if you break that video camera, I'm gonna tell Sandy- oh, Gary! What- what is- What are you doing?! OH MY GOD, THE VIDEO CAMERA! <laughs> Gary, you sir, are in big trouble now! I can't- Why would you knock the video camera off of the left like that? Alright guys, I got the film. <gasps> Now Sandy's gonna get very angry at me! You know what, Gary? I'm gonna tell her that you did this! And you're gonna get it. That's it. You're definitely gonna be punished when we get home. I swear, when we get back home, you're definitely gonna be punished! Hey, SpongeBob, Gary, where are you guys? So where's my video camera? Sandy, we are down here! You're not gonna believe what just happened! Why you sound so angry? Where's my camera? If you come down, I'll tell you what happened to it! Okay, I'm coming down. This better not be ugly. Oh my goodness, SpongeBob, what happened to my video camera? Why is it busted? Well, here's exactly what happened. Well, while you were out there getting a new film tape, Gary decided to push your video camera off the ledge for no apparent reason. Well, that proves you right there that your snail isn't house trained. What are you talking about, Sandy? He, he is house trained. No, he isn't. If he was house trained, my video camera wouldn't be on the ground busted. It's all your fault, SpongeBob. Why are you blaming me? Because you shouldn't stop, Gary, before you, before you knew he was going to push my camera off the ledge. Now, now I have to replace it. And that's a lot of money. I'm very sorry, Sandy. I'm very sorry that Gary ruined your camera. But you can't blame it on me. Don't, don't talk to me anymore, Snow for the rest of the day, okay? I'm very angry right now. Just go home. You know what? Fine, Sandy. Since you want to get all hip angry with me, come on, Gary. You and I have to have a long talk when we get back home. You better get that snail away from here either. His name is Gary. I know his name. I just don't want to feel, I don't feel, I don't feel like saying his name. Now go away. I feel the same thing, too. You, Snail, are in big deep trouble when we get home. Let's go. There goes my $900 camera. Ugh. Hate going to snail. It's like I better go clean up this mess before somebody realizes it. Gary, I am so done with you today, man. Your attitude was so f***ing terrible, it makes me very, very sick. You know what that means? Punishment time. That's right. No TV for the rest of the day. I mean, scratch that out. No TV for a week. No playing with your friends for a week. And to make sure you, and to make your punishment is even more painful to be inside this here cage for the rest of the day. All right, Gary. Now go inside the cage right now and think about what you've done. Enjoy your week without TV and enjoy another week without being your friends. Now go inside the cage or else I'm going to spank you. I hope you enjoy being behind bars, Gary. Now I want you to stay inside that cage while I go inside and get you your snail food and some water. Because I don't want you to be hungry while you're in there during your punishment. I swear, if I see you move one little inch, you're going to be in there for another week. Okay? Good. I'll be right back. Okay, Gary, I brought you your snail food and your water. If you need anything else, you, I'll be happy to come out here and give you anything you need. But if you ask for a television, I'm not going to give it to you. Because you don't deserve TV for having what you've done. For A, for eating flowers, for eating squirrels flower garden, and B, for freaking Sandy's video camera. Now as for that, you're going to stand inside this cage for the rest of this day. And if I swear, if I catch you doing something else that is wrong, I'm going to let you stay inside that cage for another day. I'll even let you stand there for a whole week if I have to. Alright? Now enjoy your little stay inside that little cage while I go inside and read the daily newspaper. Oh boy, what another beautiful day. Can't wait to go see Spongebob. Oh, hello there, Gary. Um, why are you inside of that cage? Um, it's... And why do you have food and water? Why aren't you outside enjoying the beautiful beauty? Don't worry, Gary. I'll, I'll go to tell Spongebob that why are you inside that cage. Hey, Spongebob, get out here! Oh my god, Patrick, I'm reading the newspaper! Get out here right now! <sighs> what do you want this time? Alright, Patrick, I'm outside now. What do you want to discuss? Well, I was just out here, and I just saw Gary inside this cage all by himself, all alone. Why? Why is he inside the cage, Spongebob? Because he's in huge trouble! What he did wrong? Well, it all started that I was out here enjoying my day, right? And then Squirt asked me to watch, to let Gary know that not to go near his flowers while he's going to get soil. Gary ate Squidward's flowers, and I told Gary to apologize to Squidward. 
Then we went to Charlie Fish Fields for another day, and we saw Sandy, right? She was doing a little movie with a little video camera thing. But Gary knocked the video camera down, and it broke. It shattered the pieces. And then, that's why Gary's inside this cage. For, he's going to be in there for a whole week. What? A whole week? Well, how is he supposed to, how is he supposed to, to breathe inside that cage? There's air circulating the cage, cage, Patrick. But, it's, but SpongeBob, that's not how you're supposed to treat your pets. I don't care, Patrick. This is what's going to treat Gary a lesson. Why don't you just tell Gary, why don't, why can't you just like give Gary a second chance? Patrick, there are no such thing as second chances, alright? He's gonna stay in that cage for a week. I'm kind of a friend of you, sports. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call Peter. Don't call Peter, alright? Don't call them. Alright, alright, why? Because they might get, they might sue me. Well, is SpongeBob gonna leave Gary inside that cage all week then? I might as well not be your friend anymore. I don't care, Patrick! I just want you to leave, okay? Just go. Go away. All right, SpongeBob, fine then, since you just want to leave your snail right like this. All right, bye, Gary. I'm sorry that you're punished. Go away! Okay, I'm leaving! All right, Gary, Patrick is now gone now. That means I can go back inside and finish up my newspaper. Now remember, you're going to be in that cage for a whole week to think about what you've done today. All right? Good. You better not catch me sneaking out of that cage, or you're going to be in there for two weeks. Don't play with me. Alright Gary, it's been a full week. Time for you to get out of your cage. I hope you learned your lesson. Hold up just a second here. Why is Gary's cage empty? And where's Gary anyway? <sighs> I don't know where the frick is he. You better show up. You better show up. Gary, you better show up right now. I ain't got time to play your game. Well, good morning, SpongeBob. Patrick, what are you doing up so early? Well, I don't know. I just wanted to see you. Well, I'm about to freak out. What happened? What's going on? Gary, he's gone missing. Wait, what do you mean he's missing? Like, I woke up this morning, I went to his cage, and he's not in there. Well, he probably ran away from home. What do you, what do I just say something like that? Well, I think you are very angry at you for leaving him inside that cage, so he probably left the cage and went, ran away from home. That little pink traitor! Sort of gosh, Patrick, if I ever find him, I'm gonna baseball bat and I'm gonna shatter his shell open. Whoa, SpongeBob, chill out. No, I'm so furious right now. I can't believe he ran away from home. You know what that means? What? We're gonna go find him, and we're gonna punish him for three whole weeks. Why? For running away from home. Let's go, Patrick. We got a snail to find. Well, that doesn't mean you have to punish him. Shut up and help me find Gary, or I'm gonna bash you up in the head with a baseball bat first. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, know, Patrick, let's go ask Sandy first to tell him to let him know I haven't actually seen Gary. Oh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. G Gary, what are you doing at Sandy's house? Good morning, SpongeBob. Uh, what, Sa Sandy, give us, you better give up, you better come up with one explanation. Well, um, last night, I mean, not last night, last week, um, Gary came over to my house and he told me that you locked him up in a cage and then you punished him. So I, he apologized to me about breaking his video camera. I accepted the apology, and then he came and he and, and he slept with me for a few days. He, so you tell him he ran away from home? Uh, apparently he did. Gary, you are even more trouble. Gary, you're gonna get a serious beatdown when we get back to the house. So I'm not gonna let you hit your snail like that. Wait, Sandy, don't tell me what to do. I can't tell you what to do anytime I want to. Okay? Now you're either gonna, now you're either gonna put down that whip, or you're gonna accept Gary's apology. Okay? Or else I'm gonna just let Sandy. Gary live with me for a few days until you start to change up a bit. I am not gonna change not one bit. Gary knows good well that running away from home is a bad thing. Gary, you're coming home with me. All right, let's figure. Let's ask Gary if he wants to either live with me or he wants to live with two. What are you talking about, Sandy? Gary's not your pet. Well, he is gonna be my pet now if he, if he, if, he, if he accepts his apology. All right, Gary, it's time for you to make your decision. You you want to live with me or you want to live with SpongeBob? It's your decision. Well, it looks like he made his decision. He's gonna live with me for now on. <gasps> Gary, how could you? I raised you better. I I clean I clean you. I feed you. And I what? Well, it doesn't make any sense for you to give him a serious beatdown like that. The final, the, the verdict's already made. Gary's gonna live with me for now on. Well, that's just great now, Sandy. Now I got no pet. Exactly. Now you better back away with that stick. <sighs> Patrick, let's go. Uh, no, I want to. I want to stay here with Sandy. Why? Because he want to agree. Why? Uh, because, um, everything she said was, was, is agreeable. I can't, Patrick, I thought we were friends! Well, uh, well, well, I thought you said you didn't care if we weren't friends anymore. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Well, Sandy, our friendship is now over with. Well, that's fine with me, SpongeBob, now get out of my house with that stick. 
Bye, Gary. Thanks. For, you'll never ever see me again. Because if I if I did ever come back, I'm gonna beat. Just leave, okay? Just go. I'm gonna call the animals. They call the police to arrest you for animal cruelty. Exactly, SpongeBob. Now go. <laughs> I hate you all. Well, Gary looks like we're gonna do pet owners now. That's right. We're gonna have lots of fun. Exactly. So what do you want to do first? Hey, you said let's go to Jellyfish Fields. Okay then, but it's a little bit early in the morning. How about we wait till the afternoon? He said yes. Good. All right, Gary. Looks like it's gonna be me, you, and Patrick from now on. Yes. I can't wait to have a pet snail like you. I bet supposed to be very embarrassed right now. So from now on, Sandy and Patrick will be taking care of Gary, leaving SpongeBob out without a pet. And I hope SpongeBob will learn this lesson about the, about him not abusing animals. And that ends this episode. Down, 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 down.